also I have decided that I want to be a mom, a uh, plant mom that is, um, and I know literally zero about plants, like probably less than zero. I have two succulents and one basil plant, but I have been very inspired by people who are more domestic than myself to expand that reach and uh, I want to get my first like for real for reals plant today. So um, yeah, I don't really know where to start, but I thought I would catalog this um, bit of a journey for you all so that maybe if someone else is like me who knows nothing that it might help. So I'm going to set you probably right here. Oh, never mind. Maybe Roger. Okay. So uh, first I am probably going to go to Lowe's because, um, their garden center has a lot of selection. I went over to this one local place called Greenhouse Garden Center, but I was very intimidated because there was some very outdoorsy people who knew what they were doing and I am not one of those people. So anyways, easiest plants. I'm now looking up what kind of plant I should get because I, I don't know. I just know I want it to be hanging from my dining room. I have these hooks that go up into my dining room. So the easiest plants to keep alive. Spider plant is apparently one of them. A peace lily. Devil's ivy. Now that looks pretty, but I feel like devil's ivy is what like a grandpa would have at his house. Pretty sure my grandpa did have some of those at his house. I'm not sure. But those, okay, those were hanging plants, which I really liked. Easiest hanging plants to keep alive. Let's refine our search here. We have an air plant, arrowhead plant, bird's nest fern. That's an interesting look, but I would I would be afraid that like spiders would be nesting in that, so I'm not so sure. Um, a Boston fern is pretty. Burrow's tail that looks kind of funny. A golden pothos <laughs> that is pretty cool. And again, English ivy. So okay, so I'll probably end up getting some kind of fern or ivy plant. They're both looking pretty good. Um, they're both looking pretty easy to keep alive. Yeah. Uh, and also a spider plant, again, is easy to care for, but I don't really care for the leaves. It's very wispy. Um, I think I kind of want something a little more round. Okay, so I'm gonna use this <laughs> limited research <laughs> to go over to Lowe's right now and pick out a plant um, for my dining room. See how this goes. The long way to uh, Lowe's because I forgot where it was for a second. <laughs> I've only lived in this town for 10 years, so <laughs> don't judge me. I'm very directionally challenged, but look. Oops, hold on. This car's blocking it, but look at all of those hanging plants. Wow. I couldn't resist. This one's a fern and um, I don't know what the other one is. It's hard to pronounce. But yeah, I almost buckled them in but I thought that'd be a little bit too extra but these babies are coming home. <laughs> Plant babies are home. They are not in their spot yet though um, because I have these ceiling hooks and I want to put one right here in this corner and then one upstairs in the guest bedroom. I'm thinking this guy, um, he needs more exposure to light than the other one. And so I think I'm going to put this one in this corner. Oh, picture, yes. And then uh, the other guy is probably going to go upstairs in the guest bedroom because that gets sun like all day long. Um, but I am waiting right now for Paul to get home first because there is a drill that's at... Um, where his work is and he's gonna come back with it and I need those to put the hooks into the uh, roof, so, no ceiling, so. 
yeah, like that'll that'll be fun. That'll be cool. Um, I will probably just do some work in the meantime, waiting for him. But they are so cute. I love the little plant babies. Um, I might actually um, purchase a thing called a moisture meter. <laughs> moisture. Um, <laughs> but I saw this uh, one person that I follow advertise it, and it is this little gauge that you can put in plants, and it'll say if it's moist or not. And then she only waters her plants if it is moist or no if it is not moist so that it prevents root rot so I think I'm gonna do that because that was our problem with the basil plant is that we over watered it so I'm gonna do that I did get them some plant food like a good plant mom um, I'm probably gonna use it like once a month it says to feed every 7 to 14 days but on the tag it says to like fertilize them once a month so probably within there I'll probably have to set some kind of timer or whatnot but I am pretty excited they're so cute and I just love like the green pop that it is, it's gonna bring to the house and yeah I'm, I'm super excited just gonna wait a couple hours for Paul to get home time let's figure out some plant names for these ones maybe um Herbert or Jessica <laughs> Or I've always liked the name Reagan. Why don't I name one of them Ronald and the other one Reagan? This one looks like a lady, just because like how it is. The other one kind of looks like a dude. So this will be Reagan, <laughs> and then that'll be Ronald. How about? <laughs> okay, plants are named. <laughs> super good it looks <laughs> Paul and I agree that it looks a little funny like it's a little too high up but all of this is gonna like taper down and just like a little bit so it'll look a little bit normal in the dining room but it looks kind of small like a floating cloud at the moment but <laughs> plant babies are doing good um so for my birthday I have always wanted to do like something crazy and adventurous and I've always had this in my head for some reason I think since I was 16. I wanted to make my 16th birthday super duper memorable and so I planned on my 16th birthday to go parasailing. So that's what I did for my 16th and then for most birthdays after that I've done some kind of adventure for my 17th I went river rafting for my 18th I went on uh, the gondola ride at Heavenly Village to see the lake. Um, 19th birthday, I don't remember what I did for my 19th. Uh, 20th, I went sailing on a boat. Um, for my 21st, I went skydiving. And so I've always tried to do something like adventurous. And today I had planned on going on a hot air balloon ride. We woke up at 4 a.m., we drove up to the lake, and then I saw that there was a number on the confirmation email that we should call to confirm the flight. I called that number, and they unfortunately had to cancel the flight today, even though it's gorgeous today. The winds up at um, a higher altitude were going the opposite direction as the winds at a lower altitude, I believe, so it was just unsafe, which I don't know, honestly, how someone can like pilot a balloon. That seems so complicated, so if they say it's unsafe, it's probably unsafe to go up, but um, so we're rescheduling that, so I was a little bit bummed out. We were trying to find um, some other activity to take up like the bulk of the day since that was our main thing for the day. And then um, I'm going out to eat tonight with all my family um, at a restaurant in Minden. So we came up with this idea. It's a little bit of a dangerous idea to go puppy shopping. So we're gonna go puppy shopping. Um, it'll probably mostly be window shopping, but um, I kind of had this idea a couple weeks ago and my friend planted it in my head, like go get a puppy on your birthday. <laughs> Uh, because Paul and I have been wanting a miniature golden doodle or maybe like a cockapoo or something like that that doesn't shed too much but is like fluffy and cute because in our little townhouse we can have an under 40 pound animal so I still haven't talked to anyone about that so hopefully if I come home with an animal today we'll have to like hide it um, but we found this one place called Puppy Place or Puppy Plus in Reno 
and um, usually I probably would go to like a breeder to get a puppy um, but that's why like we probably won't walk away with the puppy today um, but we did want to see their selection I thought playing with puppies might like be a fun way to spend my birthday like if nothing else and so my uh, sister is coming over to my house in like a couple minutes and we're gonna all go puppy shopping together <laughs> um, I'm very tempted I asked Paul like um, percentage wise like how much does he want to have a puppy right now with like a hundred percent being the most and zero percent being the least and I think I rated myself like a 70 percent I was like ready to come home with the puppy today and he's at a 10 percent so I really hope I don't see like a really cute one and uh, Paul's to totally against it and uh, that, that it's gonna be an interesting birthday so Let's see how this puppy shopping goes. I'm super, super excited. Maybe I'll be um, a plant mom and a puppy mom like all in a couple of days. That'd be crazy overwhelming. So <laughs> yeah, so, so follow our journey as we go puppy shopping. Unfortunately, we did not walk away with a puppy today. Very sad. There were so many cute ones. I still smell like puppy. Um, I got so distracted by um, petting them and kind of deciding that I didn't get any footage while I was in there. So, <laughs> oopsies. There was also a lot of like sanitation going on, so I kind of felt bad like popping in my phone um, or something like or camera. Um, while we were with the dogs, but we did see a really cute golden doodle. We've had labradoodles and gold golden doodles kind of on the brain for a possible breed that would work well for us. Um, but we actually decided to go through a breeder rather than just like a puppy store to try to um, have all the boxes checked in terms of medical visits and shots and all of that. So I found a pretty promising um, breeder who is in Davis, California. I filled out an application this afternoon and um, will hopefully pop on their wait list for a golden doodle doodle <laughs> so gold, say golden doodle five times fast um, for a litter that is coming this summer slash fall. Um, they're trying to conceive right now and so as soon as the ultrasound is confirmed that there are puppies in there they pop everyone on a wait list um, so right now I am applying for that so fingers crossed we will maybe have a puppy by this coming late fall um, slash holiday season so I am really excited it was a super good visit to help us determine like where we are actually at financially slash readiness of having a puppy I think it showed us that we definitely want one um, maybe not like today <laughs> but definitely want one soon probably me more so than Paul but you know what you gonna do um, so yeah it was exciting for that reason okay but side note who has ever <laughs> roasted marshmallows over the stove top because that is exactly what I'm doing right now and what this came from our knife thing what is this used for in cooking? Because I have absolutely no idea, but it's working good for the marshmallows. So anyways, <laughs> uh, I'll be getting ready soon for a family dinner for my birthday coming up in about an hour and a half, but I am really excited for a, our future puppy. Just gotta wait and see on who exactly it ends up being. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. We did actually end up rescheduling the hot air balloon ride for two days after my birthday, which actually ended up being on my dad's birthday. He was out of town, though, so <laughs> um, it was so amazing. Oh, my goodness. We thought it was going to be canceled that day, too, because when we woke up, it was raining outside. And we live like 45 minutes away from Lake Tahoe or South Lake Tahoe. And so we figured it was probably going to be canceled, but it was on and it was amazing. The overcast skies actually made it so good for visibility. Like we weren't ever blinded by the sun and it was stunning. It was such a surreal experience, like floating in a hot air balloon. You don't even feel it. It's amazing. And I will post all of the clips and footage that I took from that day um, right now after this. 
but it's been such a good birthday week. It really has, and it has been a birthday week. Um, tomorrow my grandma's coming in town, and my whole family is going to celebrate by barbecuing and um, hanging out together tomorrow to celebrate me and my dad's birthday, which have always been two days apart from each other. So we have been birthday buddies forever. So it has been an amazing golden 24th birthday, turned 24 on the 24th. And I am so excited for what um, this next year has in store. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. I cannot wait to see you on the next one. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe and connect with me. So I will see you later. Right now, he looks so good. <laughs> <laughs> so, when the challenge accepted. <laughs>